Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Welcome back to my channel. This is Ramya from Desi Girl 101. Today's video is actually going to be uh, what's in my acrylic makeup container or what is my, what is in my makeup uh, organizer. So I did show this uh, in the past also on my channel. This sits right across before that birdcage you see in the back of me. Um, this is the makeup organizer I picked up for like nine or ten dollars or less than that from Ross or Michaels. I can't remember. But definitely one of those store, uh, one of those stores. So I was uh, asking you guys to let me know if you wanted to see like a shop my stash video or like a what's in my everyday makeup organizer. And I did get a lot of requests for you to from you guys to do this video. So here I am. Now I'm going to go through the products. Maybe change the camera angle a little bit and tell you what I have in this. So if you look at this organizer, it has like nine rows of um, three by three rows for lipsticks and a small container in the back for like fitting maybe smaller eyeshadow palettes. And it has like three different, uh, two different cubes. If you can, uh, let me tell this. So you basically have like two longer sections to put in all your makeup pencils, makeup brushes and stuff like that. And a small section to put all your products like maybe your foundation and conceal and stuff like that. So I'm going to go through this section right here. So here I have a couple of makeup brushes. I'll be honest with you, I don't use a lot of my makeup for my everyday uh, makeup also. The maximum I do is like a foundation concealer, maybe just a lipstick and maybe kajal, but no eyeshadow, nothing. I have absolutely no time in the mornings these days to fill. Anyways, uh, on a side note, I'm going to show you all the brushes I have. I have like two eyeshadow brushes right here. This is from Eco Tools and this is from Sephora. I use these brushes to place the eyeshadow on my eyelid. And I actually just filmed a makeup tutorial for this makeup look. So you will see that video if it is already up. I will link it in the info bar below. The next is I use this Style Master brush for my concealer uh, under my eyes. I have like a, a Soho crease brush that I use to blend eyeshadows in the crease area. And I have this flat liner brush from Soho again. I use this predominantly to fill in the eyebrows. And you have seen, if you're on my channel for a long time, you have seen this video, uh, this brush in my makeup tutorials a lot of times. This one actually fell off from my hand while I was showing you. This is the e.l.f. eyebrow wand. I basically use this to remove any extra clumps of mascara in my um, eyelash area. Next are, I have like two lip pencils and two eye pencils. The two lip pencils I have is, uh, one of them is the Essence Lip Liner and it's in the shade 15 Honey Berry. That's how the shade looks like. It's an absolutely really nice, uh, kind of like pinkish purple and it looks really good on skin tones like us. This is, uh, this was what I was wearing when I filmed this makeup tutorial, but it's not what I have on my lips right now. So this is the... Um, Rimmel lip pencil in the shade Indian pink. That's how the shade looks like. I'm almost running out of this pencil. I'm going to uh, purchase a backup maybe. Next section is this tall section again. I'm going to remove everything from this section so I can talk to you guys about it. This is Star Looks Pro Concealer. Um, sorry, not concealer. This is the Star Looks Pro eyeliner pen. It's really nice, very, very smooth. The pencil is about $19. The swatch didn't come out that well, but it's really smooth and extremely, extremely black. This uh, eyeliner pencil is like $19, I think, and I got this in my boxy charm video. Next is I have this. Uh, this is the Vasanti blush brush. I use this to place the brush and I uh, blush on my cheeks and I also got this in my boxy charm subscription some time back. I have this small eco tools shader brush. This is perfect for people with small eyes or if you want to like uh, place uh, maybe the inner corner highlight like I did in this and uh, maybe if you want to like uh, smoke out your lower lash line. It's a perfect perfect small size. And this Stila, uh, Stila waterproof liquid liner pen, that, that's how it looks like and it's actually in brown. I haven't used this, I just wanted to bring it out from um, my uh, makeup other area and use start using this. But the next is I have these two uh, eyeliners. This is the Revlon liquid liner and this is the Wet n Wild liquid liner in the shade 873A Voltage Blue. 
voltage blue not blue blue this blue is a really like a voltage neon blue and it dries matte and the Revlon you've seen this a lot of times uh, this is like four or five dollars from the uh, Walmart area from the Revlon section in the Walmart area and the last two I have is this is actually a uh, seta or seta however you want to say this is a liquid uh, this is a gel pot liner brush that I also got in my boxy charm that is what I used to apply the uh, essence spot liner on my eyes right now and this is what I'm wearing actually I'm wearing a lot of the makeup from my acrylic organizers and I just filmed the video like a couple of hours back this is the Lakme iconic kajal pencil and let me go ahead and swatch it's a twist up pencil and that's how the swatch looks like it is what I'm wearing in my waterline right now that one. I have a small Lorac eyeshadow palette. This is the Platinum Status eyeshadow palette. It's predominantly purple and pink colors. This palette was like $12 and it got released uh, around the um, 2014 holiday season. And that's how the shade swatches look like. All of the next is I have this Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I got this uh, sample size in some makeup collection that I got. It was like a set from Sephora. The next is I have this Bodyography Trio. You have seen me use this uh, a lot of times. I usually uh, try to uh, switch between this and the Anastasia Dibro Promade just because I get both. I like both the products equally well and this one I got in my uh, boxy charm. The last small uh, product I have is this MAC setting powder. I got this sample size from the MAC store and I don't use setting powders daily but I do have this and whenever I use my Becca concealer which I did, did do a video today, whenever I use my Becca concealer I make sure I set my uh, concealer because that's very 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 creamy and it will crease like crazy. Okay, before moving on to the lipstick section, I'll quickly talk about the products I have in this area. So I have my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I use this to apply my foundation. The concealers I have are high-end concealers. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Biscuit. And this is Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer in the shade Toffee. Uh, Becca Concealer, I think I got this for like $29 or $30. And it definitely is expensive. But this pot is going to last me a very, very long time. And that's what I have under my dark circles right now. That's how the shade looks like. Don't go by the uh, color on my hands. My hands are slightly, slightly, not slightly, really badly tanned than the rest of my um, body and face color. And this is the NARS Biscuit shade. This concealer has been compared to the Maybelline Fit Me, but that Maybelline Fit Me shades don't suit me. They made my um, concealer look, uh, dark circles look more gray. So I just got this and I've been loving it. The foundation I have in this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer uh, Foundation. And this is the Pro Longwear line. And this was like... 30 something dollars and this is like a 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce bottle it comes with a pump the pump gets dirty that's why I have just put it in the uh, pack itself and I'm in the shade NC42 this slightly seems yellow for my skin tone but I really love uh, how the foundation blends on my skin the other foundation I have is this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the shade 305. This is lighter and I have tanned a little more now that it's summer season. So this is not my perfect shade. This never was my perfect shade but I used to make it work with some uh, concealer and some powder and stuff like that. But right now I'm not using this because as I mentioned I'm not wearing foundation that regularly to work anyway. I have this blush. This is one of my favorite blushes from drugstore and it suits every single skin tone I came across really well because I used this on my friends as well and they also love it. This is a Jordana blush in the shade 37 Blushing Rose. I heard the swatches and I looked up the collection from Our Love for Fashion, Nano and Janu, the twins. And that's how the um, blush looks like. It has a slightly specks of shimmer. And it's a really nice rosy toned uh, blush um, shade. It looks really nice. That's what I'm wearing very, very slightly on my skin right now. 
and that's how the shade looks like and it blends very well I use the same uh, Vasanti brush I showed you some time back and I also have a couple of uh, sample size products right here these are the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and the Urban Decay Primer Potion both of them I got um, when I got some set the Urban Decay Primer Potion I got when I purchased the Urban Decay Ammo Palette it came across with that and the uh, Pore Professional also came with a Benefit Trio set that I got some time back I'm almost out of it and I don't know I used to be very crazy about this product but right now I like the Too Faced uh, Poreless and Primer right here and I must say the hype about the Too Faced Shadow Insurance is completely absolutely true I don't like the Urban Decay that much as much as I love the Too Faced Shadow Insurance I do have like really dry skin but my eyelids are super super oily this holds the eyeshadow in place I don't see those lines forming on my eyes anymore and I absolutely love how it um, intensifies the eyeshadow color as well so this is one of my favorites I have two mascaras these are the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the Benefit Lip Pencil this is what I'm actually currently wearing this is the NYX Lip Pencil in 803 Burgundy let me show you the swatch pencil and that's how the color looks like and I filled my lips with this Sephora uh, Rouge Cream Lip Stain and this is actually in the shade Blackberry or Black Sorbet or something like that the last but one color in the Sephora liquid lipstick range oh yeah this is the Rouge Cream Lip Stain and I will mention the shade number it's it's either like 13 or something the last but one dark grape color and it looks amazing doesn't stick great formula absolutely love it I have about 1, 2, 3, 12 lipsticks right here so let's go with the first row of lipsticks right here the first one I have is the Revlon lip butter in the shade candy apple it's a nice everyday um, orange that's how the color looks like the next is the wet n wild uh, silk silk finish lipstick in the shade 522a dark wine uh, this is not like a long wearing lipstick it does transfer uh, it's not transfer proof and these lipsticks are like like 99 cents very very cheap I absolutely love the shade selection in this My favorite 660 Maybelline touch of spice lipstick and it's an everyday um, lipstick for work that's how the shade looks like it's a beautiful uh, nudie pink for a deeper darker skin tones it and the last one is the Revlon Colorburst lipstick in fuchsia I mean last one in that first row it's a bright pop of purplish pink all right let's go to the second row of lipsticks I do have a lot of my lipsticks in this next two rows uh, see Revlon lip butter in the shade 053 sorbet and that's how the lipstick looks like so if you can see it's like a bubblegumish pink but it has a really nice um, glossy texture to the Revlon lip butters it's a lip butter so it's very very creamy this body body shop lipstick in the shade baked I'm sorry it's like baked brick and it's a beautiful rusty brownish maroon color that's how the color looks like there's this Revlon lipstick in cream finish 750 kiss me coral it's a nice orange next is a 904B rosebud I don't use this lipstick just by itself it's a wet n wild mega last lipstick I feel it's too pink for my liking I try to use this in the center of my lips whenever I try to use a cinnamon spice or other lipsticks so as you can see it I don't think it suits me that much so that's the color last row of lipsticks and I have like three wet n wild lipsticks and one vivid rose lipstick from Maybelline this is one of my favorite lipsticks and I don't know what I'm gonna do if I go cruelty free I have to find a, a similar shade reference to this because this is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time okay let me swatch this here use this on so many girls so many of you bought this lipstick after I recommended and you also tell me that you love 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 this lipstick on you and I'm so happy that makes me so so happy 
The next is uh, a 908C Sugar Plum Fairy. It's a beautiful uh, creamy purple. And this is one of my favorites these days. So I feel this kind of looks very, very close in comparison to the MAC Heroine Lipstick or the whatever that makeup, uh, whatever that shade from MAC that everyone keeps raving about. The next is a 912C in the flesh. This is also a Wet n Wild lipstick. That's how the shade looks like. Sorry for the awkward swatches. I'm out of place on my hands. The last one is a 913C and it's an everyday beautiful um, natural looking lip color and that's how the lipstick looks like so this is pretty much have in my, in my everyday makeup acrylic organizer i would highly recommend you to have something on top of your makeup collection because it will help you um, get ready faster and if you see products you will know how to use them you will know what to use how to what combinations you want to try and stuff like that so i hope you found this video helpful let me know what products you have in your everyday makeup basket or makeup bag and stay tuned stay subscribed also follow me on my snapchat and instagram accounts username is the same as my youtube channel dcgal1010 Ramya signing off and I will see you girls very very soon. Bye.